What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3 of the tutorial series on Amazon WebSocket API Gateway Tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through routes and how to configure the same. And now in this tutorial, we are going to deploy the WebSocket API that we have created. So basically, uh, navigate to the WebSocket API that you have created. So here I am within WebSocket tutorial API uh, then routes so once you are there click on routes from the left panel and if you remember then we had configured connect and disconnect route uh, in the previous tutorial so now we are going to deploy this WebSocket API so once you are within routes click on actions say deploy API now here it will ask you for the deployment stage so right now I don't have any stage so select new stage now uh, the stage can be a uh, development or prod or whatever right so i will say dev if you want you can add a stage description and say deployment description and finally click on deploy and now as you can see we have successfully deployed this websocket api right so unlike rest api here we have a uh, two URLs, whereas in REST API, we have only uh, one URL that is invocation URL. So here we have WebSocket URL as well as connection URL. So this is something uh, that we are going to use to connect to the WebSocket API. So that is WebSocket URL. So basically this connection URL is the backend URL. So this URL can be used in the backend. Uh, so for example, uh, we can perform a post get, right? So for example, we want to uh, post a message from server to client so we can use post as a http method and use this url to uh, send the message to the connected client or we can use get method to retrieve the connection information or we can also use this uh, backend url or connection url to disconnect the client so this connection url is basically used uh, in the backend part now apart from that we have settings over here so you can enable throttling if you want you can just check this uh, enable throttling and you can mention the numbers. So I'm leaving it as it is right now. Apart from that, we have logs and tracing. So this CloudWatch settings uh, is very much helpful in identifying any error that uh, we are getting while developing the WebSocket API, right? So make sure to enable this to debug uh, what's the error and whatnot. So you can select the log level from error or information. So again, I'm going to leave it unchecked. And then we have custom access logging. So basically in access logging, uh, you or me as an API developer want to log who has accessed uh, the API endpoint and how the caller accessed the API, right? So here you can create your own log group or choose an existing log group uh, that could be managed by API Gateway. So if I go ahead and check this, then here we have to mention the uh, ARN and then the log format. So for example, I want to uh, log the information about source IP address of the client who is trying to or who is accessing this uh, WebSocket API, right? So I can use the context variable. So it could be like $context.identity.sourceIP, right? So I have to mention it in the log format and it will grab those values and uh, log it somewhere within CloudWatch. So that's a custom access logging. Now then we have stage variables. You can define any stage variable if you want. And then finally we have deployment history, right? So this will log the information about the deployment of the uh, WebSocket API basically. So uh, this is all for the deployment part, right? So now the question arises that how we can access this uh, WebSocket URL, right? So unlike REST API, here we have a different kind of URL that starts with WSS colon, something like that. So uh, here we are going to use WS cat. So that is basically the WebSocket cat utility to test our WebSocket API, right? So for that, uh, the very first thing uh, you have to do is to install NPM. So WSCAT is the package of the NPM, right? So go ahead and install the NPM. So for the Mac users, you can simply go ahead to terminal and say brew install NPM. So this will install the NPM uh, on your system, on your Mac system. And once the NPM is installed, uh, go ahead to terminal and say NPM install hyphen G WS cat. 
right so this will install the ws cat utility so basically hyphen g parameter stands for uh, global installation right so you can also visit this url saying uh, npmjs.com slash package slash ws cat right so we basically we are going to use this uh, tool or this utility to test our websocket api right so we might have used postman but i think it does not support websocket uh, api functionality so that's the reason uh, we are going to use ws cat that is websocket cat utility so make sure uh, you go ahead and install this utility because in the next tutorial we will be invoking this api endpoint using websocket cat utility and we will play around with roots right so that's it for this tutorial until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time